Hello again, good buddies. I've had another weekend of battling against the forces of nature and defective motor vehicles in about equal measure, but how very pleasant to be passing amongst you again, bringing sunshine into your lives. Tonight, uh, in fact, this takes the form of sessions from the Wolfhounds and Bolt Thrower. And because I've been looking forward to hearing this Bolt Thrower session again since it first went out, we're going to start with one of theirs. Away we go. <laughs> Now we're motoring, that's Bolt Thrower in session, excellent stuff, more from them later in the programme quite clearly. And uh, on Thursday night I went to the Scunthorpe Baths to see Faith No More, who'd been much reviewed in the papers and much praised in action, and uh, wrote about it for one of the Sunday papers. Somebody who'd read my review, uh, full of pith and epigram as it was, was unable to detect whether I actually liked them or not. Well, I liked them once they got going, I must say. This is We Care A Lot. <laughs>
I'm sure you do, guys. That's Faith No More. Excellent live. Well, I say they're excellent live. The first half was a bit, you know, a bit tepid, but once I got going and realised that the audience had actually come to enjoy them, uh, they, they were excellent. Uh, that's We Care A Lot, the current single. And in the next bunch of Strange Fruit records, uh, there are going to be EPs from The Very Things, Cud, uh, Buzzcocks and Sid Barrett. And of these, I would imagine, actually, with no disrespect intended to the others, that it'll be the Sid Barrett one that attracts the most attention. From it, this is Terrapin. <laughs> I really love you, and I mean you The star above you, crystal blue Well, oh baby, my hair's on and about you I wouldn't see you, and I love to I fly above you, yes I do Well oh baby my hair's on and about you Floating bumping noses, dodge your tooth, their fins are luminous Dark below the boulders Hiding all the sunlight's good for us Cause we're the fishes And all we do A move around is all we do Well oh baby my hair's on And about you 
Well, there's been pressure for the release of this session almost since it was recorded, which it was, reco it was recorded on the 24th of February, 1970. There's another bit of it as a taster, too. Uh, recorded on the 24th of February, 1970, produced by John Walters, engineered by Tony Wilson. Five tracks, of which uh, that was Terrapin, and the others are Gigolo Aunt, Baby Lemonade, Effervescing Elephant, and Two of a Kind. Sid Barrett in the Peel Session series. And if you get the Pogues, uh, If I Should Fall From Grace With God on compact disc, you get this as an extra track. It's called South Australia. That's for all of the people who came to witness the John Peel Road Show in action, if that's the right word, at Hull University at the weekend. They seemed rather keen on the Pogues. South Australia, and that's the extra track on the compact disc. I do, I do wish, actually, to be perfectly honest with you, although it's nice to have these things, I do wish they wouldn't do that, in a sense, like an extra track that isn't on the vinyl record, but is on the compact disc, so people, some people at least will feel obliged to buy both. I know it's all marketing, but you do get fed up with your life being governed by marketing at times. Uh, these are the Wolfhounds in session. Happy Shopper, rather appropriate. <laughs>
And that's the first tonight from the Wolfhounds in session. Happy... Oh, dear, dear. It's a big about an extraordinary noise. Where did that come from? Uh, and that's uh, called Happy Shopper. This one's for me, really, because, as I say, some aspects of my weekend were rather depressing. I mean, we were very much hedged in about by uh, foul weather, so much so that on Friday night... Uh, we were in real... I mean, the house itself was in real danger of flooding, and uh, the pig had been stuck there and cut off by floodwaters for about four or five days, having to walk children to school across the fields and so forth. I mean, it's all very <laughs> Victorian and picturesque and so on, but you could do without it, frankly. And uh, also, when I went up to Hull, there was uh, something seriously wrong with my car, and uh, only just got there, in fact, and uh, the AA turned out, and uh, although I couldn't actually attend the car, which you're supposed to do, they fixed it, so I'm grateful to them for that, otherwise I'd probably still be stuck in Hull. This is the fall, therefore, the guest informant. <laughs> Yes, the bomb on the top. Yes, the bomb on the top. 
Strike Strikehog, and our left. Backhand, Strikehog, and our left. Backhand, Strikehog, and our left. Backhand, Strikehog, and our left. Ah, oh, they always put a spring in my step, you know. The fall, of course, and that's guest informant. And when I was in Hull, I was speaking at one stage uh, to a Judith Brennan, and she was very, very keen that I should try and track down John Riley, who's somewhere in Devon. So, uh, John Riley in Devon, if you're listening to this, Judith wants you to get in touch with her as quickly as you possibly can. This is James Govan, Jealous Kind. <laughs> Don't be angry if I seem rude each time we meet. Someone that you once knew, that you said used to be so close to you. It's just that I'm so afraid. Someone might steal you away And girl, I lose my mind And I can't help myself The way I feel sometimes Yeah, I'm the jealous guy It was alright all right. When I first met you Girl, I didn't mind But now things have changed I'm just not the same And now I find I want you all to myself I don't want to share you with nobody yet Recorded in the 1960s, you might imagine, possibly the 70s, but more likely the 60s, but in fact it was recorded last year. That's James Govan, G-O-V-A-N, from an LP on Charlie Records called I'm In Need, and that was Jealous Kind, and very good too. There's also a version on there of uh, starting all over again, it's gonna be rough. 
Well, he sings it rather better than I do, I must admit, and I'll play you his version of it at some stage. Uh, not tonight, though. Uh, after the... Oh, before the fall record, I meant to mention that uh, Lisa White wanted me to play something by the fall for her brother Dominic, who lives in Cowbridge in South Wales. I failed to do that, but if you're listening, Dominic, accept this instead. From Bolt Thrower, in battle, there is no law. <laughs>
also known as a fly Casanova. Pulling more drugs and still getting over. MCs get jealous, but it don't mean nothing. Why I'm the man, Greg G is playing. Not I'm I can't be stopped. Try to stand in my way and deal with my boss. Busting out the street, fresh rhymes galore. Just to hear me rock the mic before I rush the door. Down there. Yeah, what's up? What you wanna do? You watch the bottom. It's still a little bit of these devastating rhymes. I can see to the right. If I want to rock the bottom, throw the mic all night. From out of the streets, I have you heard. On the front of USA, two strippers heard. The beat is so fresh and it's outstanding. My lyrics are powerful and the music of the best rappers under the sun. In the very time, do you consider it done? We got stupid rhymes and it's still increasing. All of my poetry and words are releasing. We hear MCs like me, but not too often. When I'm around, rappers take precautions. Somebody has to keep them MCs tame. They'll be clapping and shouting while I entertain. Because I don't have time to mess around with jerks. I just get up on stage and go do the work. <laughs> Yo, sweat, yeah, what's up? What you wanna do? I keep rocking this fuck until I'm through. You wanna give me props? Cause I'm an MCA. Couldn't find no better. You can rock the place. Keep your head on the bubble. Push and shove it. Rap to the dumbin' every minute. Of everything I start, I go the whole length. If the bass ain't pumping, then give it strength. Cause the rhymes are furious. If you are curious, I never been taken. And yo, I'm serious. Try to battle if your mind is content. But the go against script don't make no sense. I took out many pumps and all goes well. Queens, New York is where I dwell. Cruising in my ride with great endurance. Everything I own, got insurance. It's believable. The two things I mentioned direct your eyes to the center of attention. Hey yo, Greg, yo, what's up? What you wanna do? I think I just was a cut for the whole damn crew. Well, yo.
Right, that's the chosen two, and it's called Yo Swift. Before that, bolt thrower in session, and in battle, there is no law. And the Smithy phone in business again tonight, which yeah, I always enjoy when people phone up. That's fine to speak to them, but uh, it gets a bit tedious when people just have kind of lists of names they want you to read out. Agnes, Ethel, and the Admiral, that sort of thing. I've done that one now, but uh, you get the point, because I mean, quite clearly that's not what uh, the programme's for. Having said that, though, I was asked to play something by the wedding present for Sean, Dave, Sue and Paul, and everyone in Hull. Uh, whether everybody in Hull will rejoice in this fact, I simply don't know. Nick of Sheffield, John and Jason of Hull, and Mike of Hillhead in Fairham as well wanted something from the wedding present. This is, you should always keep in touch with your friends. <laughs> wedding present you should always keep in touch with your friends and i was also invited at some stage to play something for nicola h babs orb and all of the nottingham sabs and the bolton crew plus all of the blasted boys and girls in hull uh, this is from big deal from a seven inch ep one of seven tracks on there this is called can't you see
Silly thing to say, I know, but very possibly my favourite piano record ever, that. That's Montana Taylor, and Detroit Rocks is the name of it. It was recorded a very long time ago. Let me see if I can find the date on here. Uh, 23rd of April, 1929. But a really, genuinely, a timeless piece, that, I think, and included on an LP from a couple of years ago in the big band Bounce and Boogie series. And uh, the Boogie Woogie Masters is the title of the LP, and that was on Affinity Records, and it perhaps still is. Well worth tracking down. If only if it's through Charlie Records, and well worth t- tracking down. There's a lot of good stuff on there, but that by far the best, I think. These are the Wolfhounds, and this is William Randolph Hearst. Not Hearst, but Hearst. Hounds in session, and that's called William Randolph Hearst. I should have mentioned that before the Montana Taylor, the piano piece, the Detroit Rocks, the record I played then by Big Deal, uh, called Can't You See, comes from a seven-inch EP uh, called Very Mysterious on self-destruct records of Louisville, Kentucky, which I think is imported into into this country by Shigaku. I think that's where it came from. And uh, Andy Kershaw is back in the country. He's uh, been away in Zimbabwe for a couple of weeks, and uh, it's wise. I mean, he's wild with excitement, even uh, at the end of a rather dull day. So at the moment, he has to be kind of tethered, you know, <laughs> everywhere you go. I mean, he's uh, wild with excitement, really is, and uh, has brought back a lot of records. And doubtless he'll be going on at an inordinate length about it all on his programme on Thursday night on Radio One. And he's been decent enough to bring me some records back as well, for which I'm extremely grateful, uh, particularly for the one that I'm about to play you now. And this is one of those things which uh, gives me, Im- I mean, genuinely 
and it gives me immense pleasure. That sounds like somebody accepting some kind of an award. And for all of the backroom boys, and I couldn't have done it without that kind of stuff. But there's one of those things where you feel like uh, it's a kind of two-way thing in a radio programme, ideally. Um, so I, I feel obscurely pleased about this. It's a seven-inch single, and it just says on the front of it, Back from Britain, the Bundu Boys, and then Special Limited Edition. And at the bottom it says, These tracks were recorded for the John Peel Show on BBC Radio 1. And then there's an advertisement on the back of it as well for a certain well-known brand of popular drink. But I'm very pleased about this, as I say. And the Bundu boys, therefore, and Chemed Zavano. <laughs> I'll tell you how made up with that I am, I really am. I take a, an honoured place at Peel Acres when I get it home through the floodwaters again. Those are the Bundu boys, and that's the Zimbabwean 
a version. I mean, not the Zimbabwe is recorded here in London for the programme, but I mean, it's a Zimbabwean record on their own JIT5 record label, Chemed Zivana, and on the other side of it, writing on the wall. And don't be too surprised if that doesn't crop up in tomorrow night's programme. Produced by Dale Griffin, engineered by Simon Clifford and Mike Engels, it says right there on the label, and quite rightly so. Here's another wonderful record as well, one that Jandy probably hasn't actually heard, but may get hold of when he hears it. This is from Feed Time. <laughs> Very fine stuff, isn't it? I think that's another one that came to me through Chicago, too. That's uh, Feed Time, that's the name of the band, from Australia, and that's uh, on Aberrant Records, and that's called Don't Tell Me. We're going to have a session fairly soon from Poppy Ook from Holland. And-